the go, welcome back. Uh, right, as promised, the next video um, will be um, removing the PAIR, the air injection stuff, off the uh, DRZ um, and the solenoid as well. So the first thing I've got to do um, for that in preparation before I start pulling anything off here um, is make up a uh, blanking plate for the uh, tube that comes out of the, the head of the engine. Uh, that will become apparent when we get into it. But um, thankfully someone online is also, it's quite hard to access and f see on there, um, but someone's already put up a, the dimensions of what you want, so I've uh, quickly noted that down. Very roughly there, but um, we're going to make it out of some sort of scrap I've got lying around. Um, I was just looking through me bits and uh, I've got um, got my old uh, LSL aluminium chain guard, which is pretty thick. Um, so that was the one that broke off there. Um, so I've just chopped off, because uh, the width of it needs to be 15mm, and uh, that bottom bar that's now missing was 15mm. So that can begin to be the makings of a blanking plate. So um, crack on with that. Cool, it's very quick and easy. Just quickly, uh, just uh, I just stuck it on the grinder and just took off most of the excess, just because so, I want to make a neat job of this. Um, just use an old bolt head, it's the right size. Mark round it. Um, I don't know if that's going to show. You can see that my pencil mark there. So I've just got to just going to file it down to a. Uh, a nice uh, curve on there, and um, yeah, check my detailed drawings of how long it needs to be 47 millimeters. Um, and uh, yeah, measure it off and repeat. A uh, quick way just to get a nice curve on it um, just a bolt and a washer on that. There you go, is that in uh, focus? So I can just do my fine bit of sanding and smoothing to get that spot on and uh, yeah we're getting there also oh, a bit more I'm getting a little bit carried away just wanted to get it really bang on so I stuck some bolts through two nuts so I can use them to kind of work off and um, to get the uh, the edges bang on round and then these completely flat as well and um, yeah I think I'm happy with that I'm just hoping now that the measurements I've lifted offline because obviously I haven't measured up myself on the bike and that they do the same thing um, but all being well that will be our blanking plate okay then so we're going to now the plate, little plates made up going to take off all this junk here that we don't need um, I've taken the tank off to get better, better access to everything. Uh, I'm going to take the uh, the fan off here, so it's just unplugging it from there, and then there's three bolts, just got one more. And uh, should be able to get access then, hopefully, to uh, the two Allen bolts for this pipe work here, which is what's going to come off the head, and then we're going to blank that off, um, get rid of this pipe work. we got this tube here, which goes to the other side of the carb, I'm going to have to make up some sort of bung and block that off as well, that needs to be blocked. Um, but um, yeah, right, this last bolt's a real pain to get out because of this pipe, so hopefully installation, installation should be easier than removal. Okay, there we go, that should give you a little better idea. So there's that pipe, and that's, uh, that's where it goes into, so that's the little uh, bit that's going to get blanked off just at the front there. So I'm hoping I can get the Allen keys in there and they're not going to be too much of an ask to get out um, but we'll see uh, nicely that was a piece of piss to get off um, just popped off easily um, so there's, a, there's a gasket on there um, I'm tempted to leave that in place and just put some high temperature oops, sorry all over the place high temperature sealant on that before I bolt the other one down and fingers crossed um, the measurements are right actually let's see if in there have a look. Should tell us. Uh, yes, that's looking good. Whew. So, 
Right, I'm going to get the rest of this off. Um, so it's just a bolt here by the looks of things that um, that goes into the uh, casing here. That looks like a space there that pushes it out. Um, we've got this pipe comes from the back and goes nowhere really. Just sort of uh, sits there. Uh, so that can come off. Um, as I said, and then this one will come off. Uh, and I need to block up that side of the car, but it should pop off like that. So, uh, yeah, just go and get me spanner and get rid of this junk. There we go, that's the plate in place. And um, just there, just another shorter bolt in there. So, hopefully, that'll be doing the job. Okay, so with that front end bit section sorted. We need to address the carb. Um, we're just going to take the whole carb out actually for this so we can do a proper job. Um, so it is the same sort of uh, procedure as removing the carb as before. So the throttle cables have come off on that side, just taking the clamps off. Um, I think that's the throttle position sensor, so that's been unplugged from the loom there. And um, this is going to be part of the solenoid bit, which is this bit here, which is going to be coming off anyway, so that's been unplugged. So um, now it's just a case of wiggling this bugger out. Alright then, so the carb is off again. Um, but uh, it's what we're on about. When I took the PAIR um, gubbins off, one of the tubes that snaked all the way up went in here, just by the um, butt fly here. And uh, so this obviously needs to be bunged up. Some people have cut a bit of hose and put sealant in it, da 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 da. I had a rummage around me bits box and um, these little rubber nipples came with um, uh, the British Customs or whichever air injection removal kit I got. Um, it's like a little nipple isn't it? And uh, obviously I don't use those on the EFI ones so they just went in the parts box for just such an occasion because that fits perfectly. So, ha, that's sorted. Right then, so we need to get rid of the solenoid, which is this thing bolted onto the bottom here, and uh, this pipe work that goes into it there. So I need to also do a bung for the top here. So um, pull that off, and I'll have a little look around and see what I've got to do that. Okay, so that top tube, uh, where have I put it? That one there, that was the one that went in there. And down there in the bottom like that so um, this just then 17 mil nut that just breaks off um, well you know it breaks off you just crack it off and uh, this can come off there we go so that just goes straight through there and on this side to get the old impact driver on that, that there's a little Phillips head bolt there it's a bit stubborn um, so this should just pull out, just pull out, easy he says. There we go, easy peasy. So, that's that. So this is the thing that I believe does something about, um, I don't know, does it, it limits the throttle response in the first three gears or something like that? But, um, oh well, we don't need it and it's gone. So I think, uh, yeah, just pop that rubber washer out. I think we're just left with a hole through there, I guess. <laughs> okay then, so I just stuck another one of the uh, aforementioned nipples on the top one to block it off. It's quite a tight fit, that one, so um, that ain't going anywhere. Um, then you've got, see, just the hole through there. There's a little rubber grommet in there. Um, this pipe here, that's the one that goes to the air box, so we're going to bung up the air box like you do on a bonny. Um, so I'm going to have a look at that in a minute and see what I've got to plug that up with. And um, yeah, we should be laughing. Okay, so just back to the other end, so obviously this is where the carb would normally be. Um, so we've got the overflow pipe, um, I guess that's the overflow pipe which just goes down there and that can go back on the carb. And then this is the uh, the one that goes into the air box. So I just need to bung that end there. Um, is that a little clip on there? Or? I don't even think that's a clip on there. Yeah, it might just come off with a good pull. Oh yes. 
There we go. Right, so I just need to go and find something suitable to stick in there, probably with a little dab of sealant as well, I reckon. Well, again, I rummaged round in the old bits and pieces. Um, this is off the original bit. It's like this. Um, basically, there's a, a ridge there you can see in this white plastic bit, and that's mirrored exactly to about there. I just found this thick rubber sleeve which I've shoved over the top of it, and because um, it's kind of kind of sticking out a little bit there like that, so that should, in theory plug back in as it would have done originally there we go I think that should do the job okay I mean that's certainly no different really to what was there it's just like a solid rubber seal over the top of it so uh, yeah because I, I could always put a little tie around there as well just to clamp it in place right Oh, silly cactus. Um, I was suddenly wondering, I fired everything up and um, it was all running fine. Um, I put it on prime to obviously fill the carb um, up with fuel because uh, there wasn't any on there. And then uh, then turned it on to on and wondered after a little while while well, the bike just died and wouldn't start again. Well, it's because it's obviously a vacuum petcock. I'd been reading up about pre-07 bikes which uh, didn't have a, a vacuum petcock. So that first rubber nipple that we put on there, um, that is now taken off, and I've put this leg, this uh, pipe back on this little bit, and that's going to go um, to the other hole in the fuel tap. Um, let's see it underneath there. You got the main fuel one, and just behind it, uh, there's another one. That's got to go back on there. Otherwise, you ain't going to create any vacuum and. Uh, you won't be able to feed your carb. So just a little minor change to that one. <laughs> Silly boy. Um, so yeah, just got to stick the tank back on and um, we should be rocking and rolling again. Right, so just coming up to seven o'clock in the morning, um, on my way to work. Uh, just with a little bit of onboard footage and a ride review uh, after the little um, tinkerings I've done with the uh, The uh, PAR, uh, PAIR valve, and uh, um, I'll, I better get through here before I start focusing on a uh, vlog. Oh, a little bit tight there. Um, yeah, and the solenoid. Um, obviously, this isn't the first ride. I did have a test ride after I finished it the other night just to make sure it was all... Uh, I wouldn't find myself stranded trying to get to work. Um, and yeah, absolutely lovely. Um, the first thing I noticed is it just feels responsive, a lot more responsive through the first, you know, well, through the whole sort of rev range and through the first three gears. So it's not like a night and day change, but it's subtle enough to be, uh, to be nice. Um, Loads less popping on the excel. I mean, before um, this used to pop um, going up the gears, going down the gears, rolling off the throttle. It just popped for the love of popping. Um, and now it's just a, an occasional sporadic pop, uh, which is nice, retains a bit of the character, but it's not really annoying. Um, so, all in all, yeah, I'm very happy with uh, doing those. Um, tweak the carb a little bit more, and um, when I get past this lorry. I'll, uh, I'll focus a little bit more and talk. No one's indicating I should have a bit of chevron action here. Go. Uh, so where was I? Oh yeah, on to uh, onto the car. He's going as sweet as a nut. Um, so I'm now going, uh, what, where am I at with it, a 160 main jet, a 25 pilot jet. Um, the needle is on the third clip. And uh, two and three quarter turns out on the uh, air fuel screw. Uh, 
uh, they're yeah, very happy with the bike now starts. Um, before it used to always be a bit of a... What the fuck? Come on, Jesus Christ. Um, used to be a bit of a hard start in the morning. And uh, now I can um, start it on like this three-stage choke sort of thing. Um, and uh, I can start it on the second uh, setting rather than full out at the moment, so half in. And uh, yeah, it just seems to, yeah, everything just seems to be working much nicer. Um, so that's groovy. Uh, oh, I want to do a big thank you at the moment. I've got me 3M adhesive pad for my uh, helmet mounts. Uh, I've got me, well, you can't see it, but uh, I'm not misting up at the moment. I've got when you pin lock in, they just exchange that straight off, and uh, this is perfect. That's sorted out, which is nice on these mornings. Um, and uh, yeah, so I've got the, uh, the GoPro mounted on the camera, so hopefully it's not going to be quite as bumpy as it was last time. And uh, a big thank you to Yankee Doodle, Chris. I'll put a link to his channel in the video. Um, he sent me a bar mount GoPro as well, so um, you might get variations of uh, of angle uh, at some point. Um, I didn't. Um, come on, pal, move over. I can get through here. You're not going anywhere for ages. Let me get past. Um, yeah, big thanks to Chris. Um, so um, he's uh, yeah he's given me a GoPro bar mount. Uh, had a bar mount. Uh, that turned up yesterday. I haven't had a chance to stick it on the bike or work out the uh, best position yet, but I'm sure I will. So big thank you, mate. Um, and yeah, that just rounds up this video quite nicely, I think. Uh, really happy with the way the bike's responding. Um, it sounds nice, the exhaust note sounds nice as well. And uh, yeah, so I might do a few more vlogs in the future um, at the moment, because there's nothing, nothing too major planned project-wise. Although I have started having a few ideas about what I might do long term with this bike. Um, the subframe on these um, just bolts on. And um, I think if you unbolt it, you're just pretty much left with the, the main engine kind of cradle part of the frame. And. Uh, I'm just wondering what it would be like to hardtail a DRZ, have a little bobber. Um, so, I'm thinking maybe that's where this will be going, long term, uh, probably after the winter. Um, so yeah, watch this space. Not entirely sure, just you know, it's the usual ride to work or you, know, you just stop brainstorming ideas and possibilities and uh, yeah it feels a bit weird not having anything to get my teeth into at the moment um, so yeah but uh, there we go anyway that's the end of this one um, so that was the uh, PAIR pair uh, valve removal it's air injection system whatever and the solenoid thingy removal and a little bit more carb fettling um, I'm hoping that uh, it's clear enough for anyone who wants to maybe attempt this on their bike. This prick. So you fucking saw me and you just swung out because you can't bear the fact that I'm going to go past you. You toss pot. I don't commute in a car. I mean, granted, this is Fenland style, not quite as shitty as going through London. <laughs> 
fuck that. I hate riding in London. Go little 400, go! It is Stu! Alan's Taxis. Aha! That is liquid taxi service. Jurassic Park. Back of the neck. Kiss my face. Take that horse back to the stable and give it a kiss. I'm at work. <laughs>